will need to go and pick up some fresh flowers uh, as you can probably tell this looks quite empty and i just always love when i get back from a vacation just to freshen up the apartment a bit and i feel like flowers is just like the perfect way to add some freshness and some color and some light and enjoyment so i'm gonna bring you on our little road trip to uh, <laughs> to the flower store uh, i was actually thinking i would walk to a flower store that is like a 15 minute walk from here uh, but because of the weather i'm just not just not feeling it so i'm gonna go by car okay almost ready for flower shopping i'll just put it this way it's all about comfy and <laughs> practical today because uh, yeah the weather is so bad so rainy so i'm um, going for my ox a long warm coat from Sportmax and I think I also need to wear a hat because otherwise if I go outside in the rain my hair will just be crazy and be all over the place. So to avoid that, the perfect solution. Oops. Sorry for the mess in there. What can you do? You clean up and two seconds later it's a full-on mess again so it's a never <laughs> never ending story hat check and this dior bag that i wear as a crossbody the perfect everyday bag let's go the weather is just pure miserable rainy gray weather <laughs> We are on our way to Friends of Flowers. I'm actually not gonna buy that many that um, as I thought it would be. Mostly because uh, Toby, my husband, um, he's going to celebrate his birthday for a lot of his friends on Saturday. And I will also have to go flower shopping there. And I will need, I will redecorate with the vases and so on. So it will still be like a different setup so i still want flowers for now because i just think it just makes the apartment pop and uh, it just makes me happy so i'm gonna go for some flowers but having that in mind i'm just like okay i'm gonna try and not buy too many but uh, let's see what they uh, are offering today and see if there's something beautiful i'm sure of it and otherwise we will make it work. about just mixing all of these um, different flowers and uh, divide them into uh, to these four bases here. So what I'd like to do is just take one flower, like one flower um, arrangement at a time and then slowly just uh, mix and match everything uh, so it's just a really slow process which I'm actually enjoying I feel this, this is kind of therapeutic um, especially when you do have the time actually to, to make your flowers so uh, yeah just gonna take it slow and do this I feel like that is how you get the best result. I love when the bouquet has like these different heights so it doesn't get too boring to look at, if you know what I mean. Uh, 
Um, so he is actually really, really good at knowing all the names of all these flowers. He's way better at that than I am. Um, so if I am in doubt about some flower name or something like that, just gonna ask him and he will know the answer immediately. He said that he had a very strict manager at the flower shop that he was working at, so he just had to learn by heart um, the name of all the flowers. So every time a customer would ask like the name of something, they should just know it on the spot. So, uh, but I would say, I am better at arranging the flowers than he is. So I guess we are a great match. We can help each other out in, in a flower emergency. now so we'll just put them into their different places okay, so and now all the flower arrangements are done and I think they look super super beautiful uh, it just yeah gives that extra energy in the in the apartment every time I do all these flowers. So really, really appreciate it and love it. We'll move on now to show you some pregnancy outfit looks. Uh, just for some inspiration, I think I will go and do this setup now and let's see how many looks I will come up with. Okay guys, as promised, I have done a little lineup of outfit options, as you can tell here in the background. Um, so I have found seven looks in total and they are all super classic and very everyday appropriate. The overall objective of this haul is to show you how to style while being pregnant. And I'm in my third trimester now, so it can be sometimes a little bit challenging to get dressed in the morning. This haul is also for non-pregnancy women because to be honest, all of these outfits I'm going to show you today are actually all from my current closet. All of the tops, like blazers, blouses, shirts, t-shirts, tops and so on, are all from my current closet. But then when we transfer into the bottom part, like trousers, jeans and so on, it has been necessary for me to buy new bottoms because of obvious reasons uh, it's I can't manage to <laughs> to actually fit into my current um, trousers so that is what is new but still I have been only been shopping in all of the stores that I usually shop in like Sarah, Massimo Duty, Argit and so on I've just been sizing up quite a lot but you can expect just some very classic um, outfits, as you can probably already tell from the lineup here, is that it's very 
you know, traditional low-toned colors. I'm not a super colorful person in terms of clothing, so I do love to wear uh, gray, white, blue, beige, and so on. So that is what you can expect here as well. But, I mean, it's also what makes it so much easier for you to get dressed in the morning because you can mix and match everything so easily. Let's get started. The first look that I would love to show you is what I'm wearing right now. So, this is an oversized grey blazer from the Frankie Shop. I really, really love this one. I paired this with just like a small bodysuit here from Sarah. And I have also paired it with low-waisted jeans from Gina Co. And some Chanel black loafers. In any occasion, I would just pair it with this very beautiful trench coat from Sportmax. Okay, so what I love about this coat is the shoulders especially. It's very structured. It has like this kind of like masculine look, but it still makes me feel very feminine as well. number two so I'm wearing just like a long-sleeved blouse from Sarah and I'm wearing the same suit pants as look number one and this time uh, I have paired it with low heel boot from Princess Cooler just like to elevate the look a little because it can look a little more chilled this kind of blouse but when I paired with these shoes I do feel like it makes quite a huge difference to the overall appearance of the look. Also, when I go out, I think I would pair it with just like a short jacket to make it cool and practical. It's easy to move around and I would probably go for this bag and these okay so look number three is a very chill look i would say very low key um something that i would probably be wearing on a sunday where I will go for uh, for the playground or running some errands around the city or something like that. A great stable piece that everyone should own is a great denim shirt. Uh, this one here is from H&M and I just paired it with um, some leggings from Sarah and some um, some black boots from uh, from Billy B. It still feel very chic. So these pants are just amazing when you're pregnant because they do have quite a, um, a large elastic space up here so it makes it just very comfortable uh, to wear. It is soon to be spring so I feel like I would pair this going out with just like a classic trench coat. This one here is from Totem. I really love this. Uh, I really love the style and the color of this coat. It's just super, super beautiful. Since I'm going to uh, probably a playground or something like that, I will pair it with this very cute uh, Dior bag, which is also super practical and that you can wear easily wear as a crossbody like this. This is look number four. What I'm wearing now is just an oversized men's shirt from Sarah and I bought this one recently. Underneath, just because it's winter and it's, I feel like in the morning it could be super chill and super cold to actually put on a shirt and only have like underwear underneath. So I just paired it with a little, let's see, it's intimissimi top, long sleeve and with a little blonde here, as you can tell. I think it also gives like an extra little detail to the outfit. So, wearing this underneath. And besides from that, I'm wearing these super cool suit pants from Sarah. And 
I have just chosen to tone this outfit down a little and make it super everyday where you can easily wear this at most offices I would say because the shirt and the suit pants are very office appropriate and then I actually just paired it with some sneakers. Moving on to look number five. This time I'm wearing a blazer again and I'm also wearing the jeans from before. This is just a black blazer, double breasted. Um, and underneath I am wearing a, a swimsuit actually from Oprah Sport. I really love how the neckline goes on this one. I feel it just makes that little twist and makes the outfit a little more interesting. The blazer is from Acne Studios and I paired it with my loafers that I really, really love. I just think it goes with everything in my wardrobe. So yeah, even though they are kind of expensive, it's just worth all the money because I can just mix and match it with everything that I own. Just a little coming out back. Moving on to look number six. This time I'm wearing a skirt from, uh, from Sarah and just this kind of green grayish uh, shirt and my Chanel sling bags with a little heel. Uh, this is definitely giving way more spring vibes than the previous um, outfits that I've shown you. I guess I would also, to, be, to feel a little more comfortable, also wearing this to work and so on, I would wear this blazer here as well. This one is from Naked Fashion. Maybe just over the shoulder, I'll put it directly on, but I feel like it just adds a little more edge to the outfit. And since we are speaking of springtime, why not add these Celine Sunnies as well? They can upgrade, I feel like, almost any outfit. So, perfect. So, this will be my final look of this little outfit haul. I am back again in my favorite suit pants from Sarah and I am wearing this gray Louis tank top and just a gray cardigan from Sarah and also wearing my Chanel beloved loafers. So this outfit I just feel so comfortable in and Again, great everyday wear, great office wear, easily to take from day to night, I think. You can also, if you feel like this cardigan gets a little too casual, just add on maybe a white shirt over instead, or maybe just a blazer, which is almost always my go-to. When I'm in doubt, always wear a blazer. <laughs> Just some of you it can be quite challenging to actually find something that is both comfortable your style looking chic while being pregnant this is also like a great challenge for me really look into my closet and see what do I have how can I wear it in different ways and uh, what do I need to buy and what I just found out was the only thing that I actually needed to buy was some new pants because of the waistline it's too small uh, otherwise i hope you uh, enjoyed this have a lovely wonderful day see you